So today I'm going to talk about the other world's books depend on the bean counter. This is a BL Isekai. It is rated teen. It is from Yen Press. There are two volumes out currently. And just as a heads up, I read this twice, which is how much I enjoyed it. So we are introduced to our male lead. His name is Sei. He is a 29-year-old accountant. He's a very hard worker. He likes to work, but his body just can't keep up with the amount of work he likes to do. So one day he runs into this alleyway and this girl is getting sucked into a portal and he tries to help her out. Unfortunately, he goes down with her too. Down the portal they go. Turns out she is the heavenly maiden who has been summoned to another world. And Say was just accidentally along for the ride. Now take a look at this nice looking knight. We will get to him in a minute. He just happens to be there. Now they take the girl away and they're like, oh no, what do we do with this guy? He was not supposed to come too. Say thinks he's hallucinating. He's dreaming. He's like, I don't know what's going on, but I'll tell you what. I'm really good at math. You got a job for me. I can totally work. I'm good with math. And they're like, what? You want to work? Um, okay, fine. That's, that's cool. So they set him up with a nice job. He's got a nice like little apartment living area, expenses, all the good stuff. And Say basically knows, well, I'm stuck here. I don't know what else to do. I might as well, you know, do something that I know how to do. But unlike his job from back home, this one is super laid back. They only work for eight hours and they get a two hour lunch break. So, I mean, it's just super chill. And he is not used to that. So he finds it very interesting. And in this time while he's adjusting, he's trying to figure out all the ins and outs of the world and the magic use and time and all of that good stuff. Knight comes to check on him. So this knight captain's name is Oresh, and not only is he skilled with the sword, but he also has magic skills as well. I think Oresh is kind of curious about Say because Say could very easily have been like, well, you guys summoned me accidentally too. You could very well just pay for me to live here. But instead, Say wants to actually work. And in being such a diligent worker, he notices a lot of mistakes that are going through the accounting department and starts to rock the boat a little bit. Now there's a lot more stuff that happens in this one volume, but I'm going to leave it right there for right now. So I'm going to flip through the rest of this, so if you don't want to spoil you can just skip it. But at the very end of this, Say gets into a little bit of trouble and Aresh kind of has to help him out. But like I said in the beginning of this video, I read this twice now because it was so good. Absolutely love the art and the storytelling. I do love the two male leads. Say is really, really smart. He comes off like this, like, super nerd with the glasses and, like, the accounting, you know, backstory. But he's not really a nerd. He's just a very diligent worker. And he's very intelligent, not only in math, but, like, he's asking questions of all of these people. Like, well, why is it like this? Why are we just approving things without really thinking about it? What is this impending doom miasma that the holy saint has to, like, save everybody from? And in doing that and asking these questions, he's kind of painted a target on his back. Which I think in turn is why Arash is so interested in him, because he knows what Say is doing. Because his questions are valid. But this was so good, so cute. I Man, you left you on a kind of a cliffhanger. If you're looking for a new BL story that is not explicit, not like super, super raunchy spicy, this is probably for you. I absolutely loved it. Highly recommend.